All right, so we got to start by, oh, it's doing this crazy out of focus. Anyway, we got to start by removing the cover. I always remove the bottom cover first, so you pull up right here where the PlayStation symbol is, and then you'll pull down this way, and the whole thing will pull up and off. So that's how you remove that, and then there's a screw here, and a screw here. You'll need to remove those. It's a T8. Alright, so now we're going to flip it over, and then this time we're going to pull from the top corner, and then down, and it will come up and off. Alright, so we'll need to gently pull this out to remove it. Just be careful not to break it, it is kind of fragile. And now we remove all the screws. They're all around, just remove all of them, and we'll need to unplug what's underneath here as well. And that, you could take a uh, safe pry tool and pull that up. I recommend keeping everything in like a... Uh, I don't know, like a little bin container. Um, I keep the longer two screws off to the side here because those go on the bottom. And then let me show you guys a tech tip. All right, so tech tip. You see how that triangle is solid black? That means that a coarse threaded screw goes there. Now, on the other hand, you see how this triangle is like not solid, it's like a hollow. It's just the triangle line, basically. That's because that's where a fine threaded screw goes. And then the last tech tip before we move forward is there is a silver screw that goes here that hold, helps hold the disk drive in place. And then you have to safely disconnect the cables. It's difficult to showcase, but I take, here, let's see if I can kind of do it. I take my pinky nail normally and I put it right here, but I guess you could use your thumb on my right hand. And then I take my left hand to carefully kind of wiggle and gently pull until it comes out. You could use the same thing on those because a lot of people, they end up ripping out this fan and then you got to call me and pay some money so I can put your connector back on the board. But once that's done, the fan and uh, fan safety cover and stuff will come around. And then the last piece we need to remove is this, just a regular Phillips head. That whole thing will pull up. The whole housing will pull up and off after that. And now our first stop is going to be this mini heat sink. We want to clean that out. I use an old toothbrush and just my breath like, like blowing on it. A lot of people like to use can air, but I'm old school and I don't like introducing moisture to the equation. Alright, so it's nice and clean, and then now we want to disconnect all the cables. Those antennas to the left there, you'll want to gently use your fingernail to kind of pick them from the nipple. It's hard to explain. I'll see if I could showcase it. And then with this connector, you have to press and hold. Yeah, I got the shakes, but let's see. You press and hold this, and then pull this, and it'll disconnect. I like to also come over here and disconnect the disk drive same way as I just showed you and just keep this ribbon cable connected it's held on there by a piece of like tape I guess you could say it's been worked on so whoever worked on it before broke that right there but I like to just leave it all attached and I'll show you later why but on these I'm gonna see if I could show you it's very difficult to show so if you take your fingernail and just like the, like so and you do that on all of them now that all the ribbon cables are disconnected, well, except for this one, this one just pulls out. You just gently pull on it. But now that all those are all disconnected, you'll need to unroute these cables. They're usually held in place by these, like, I don't know, stickers. You also want to disconnect this cable as well. Now over here, there's a black screw you'll need to unscrew, and then the whole assembly will pull out. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I like to take this and pop it up and then that cable it just pulls right out and you could put your hand under here and well it's kind of a two hand job you gotta use to pull up right here too let's see if I could do it one handed almost yeah I kinda got it you can see that whole piece will pull up and out see and that'll expose our first stop which is the power supply unit so this will actually pull out if you want to take it out for easy cleaning. I clean the whole thing, the whole housing, and of course the power supply unit. Those all right. Now, as our second point of interest, is going to be the main heat sink. And as you can see in the beginning, there was some crust, and then 
along there. There's some crust. We want to take an old toothbrush tool to get it nice and clean. Most shops would stop there, but we're not complete. Um, we want to basically put it almost together, but you want to be careful not to damage this cable or any of the cables for that matter. And then this, you'll want to make sure that bottom piece goes under that power supply so it all clicks into place, it'll be all flush. And now the most unenjoyable part, we've got to remove all those silver screws. And the trick is to make a note of where there is not screws. Take a picture on your phone or whatever you need to, that's how you remember. Okay, so now that all the screws are unplugged, we can pull this whole piece up and off and set it off to the side. And now we need to focus on these. We've got to get those two screws off. So it's just a Phillips head and then it will go ahead and pull right off. Sorry again for the shakiness. Alright, so now we want to, just like the disc drive, we want to press on here and then gently pull out with our other hand. Okay, now the whole board will pull out, but you'll need to use extreme caution and be careful with this area because that's where the power supply is plugged in. Let me see if I could do it one-handed. See how that part kind of sticks. Now we want to pull this board out and we've got to take care of the displacement, which I'm pretty confident it has. Yes, really bad. Really, really bad. And that's what we should be looking like afterwards. I like to use a Q-tip to clean it up. There's a special Q-tip that comes with liquid metal when you buy it, but it will run out. So I use regular Q-tips and high purity alcohol, 99.99% IPA alcohol. This one didn't come out quite as picture perfect, but that's okay. That's what the protector's for. But that's it. Now we just got to bolt it up. And and one more tech tip is be sure to plug in this cable before you put that metal heat shield on. And whatever you do, do not snag these on anything. Those tips will come clean off. You also want to use extreme caution plugging the cables in. This is the order, by the way, uh, well at least on this model. Um, if you lose track of it, they're actually labeled either BW, the W for white, or what is it? I'm sorry, it's RW for white or RB for black, sometimes it's blue, or FB for black and FW for white on the other side. Okay, so we got all the antennas and cables and everything plugged in there. We got all these plugged in here. Now we got to plug in the disk drive, but before we do that, we got to put in all those silver screws. Alright, we got all the silver screws in place. So now we have to get that black screw back into place here. That is how you want to route it. You do not want it to go under that and get smashed. That cable, by the way, this power eject cable. And then these cables are pretty delicate too and that's how you want to route those. Went ahead and plug our disk drive in. And you could put the housing on. You can plug in all these cables. Drop in the fan and plug that in. Once all the cables are plugged in, you could go ahead and put the beauty cover back on. And then you'll need to put all the screws back into place. Remember that tech tip if you get confused. The hollow one is going to be the fine thread. And then the filled in is going to be the coarse. Then there's that silver drive on the silver uh, screw on the disc drive. And you should have these three, the two on the right, go in the bottom corners or by the disk drive and then the one on the left goes on the fan right here in the upper corner by the uh, fan cord and we have this to put back into place and then we're gonna flip the unit over and then put those in and we're done. If you remember the one went there and then the other one oh hold on goes right there then you just need to put on the wings. Um, you want to guide them into place to where they kind of fall in, and then you'll have to give them a little bop. Oh, which I'll show you. And they'll click into place. Okay. And just do that on this side, as well as the top side. <clears throat> mm. And that is it. And you are done. 
So thanks for following along if you used it as a tutorial. Uh, either way, thanks for viewing. The support is always appreciated. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, there are memberships available. New videos dropped every Sunday. And uh, the only way it will possibly overheat is if the fan is bad. But that's about it. But anyway, thanks for tuning in.